All right, so today we're going to go over uh, electronics to make uh, faceplate moves, uh, flaps, uh, whatever on your Iron Man suit. So um, let me go go ahead and go over this first, which is uh, servos. Um, now you can see these two servos are different sizes. Um, they have a different torque specification. Uh, this one's lower, this one's higher. Uh, this is obviously smaller. Um, they both take the same amount of voltage. Uh, I think I believe it's anywhere between four volts to uh, 5.5 .5 volts, I believe, maybe maybe even six. And the higher amount of, of voltage you put into the servo, or you, that you feed into them, the more torque they produce. So uh, if you look at the box in most servos, uh, they'll give you two two uh, torque spe specs. Uh, I think it's like 4.8 and then uh, 5.5 .5 or six volts. So um, it, it, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, these are a high tech uh, HS. Uh, this is a HS81. And this one is an HS55. So, um, as I said, they have different torque specs. Uh, and basically, what you're, what you're looking to do is uh, basically have enough torque to uh, lift your faceplate. And depending on how heavy you you set your faceplate uh, or your part, you're going to have to use uh, different size servos, depending. Um, so usually, um, I first did this with my faceplate with these, then upgraded to these, and then I actually have a set of Metal Gear. Uh, these are plastic gear servos. Uh, and I went to Metal Gear, and Metal Gear's got more torque, and it's a little more solid as far as uh, movement, um, and it doesn't have that type of sound to it. It's got more of a metallic sound. So, uh, but those are the bat. Th those are the uh, the servos. Uh, I usually run them off of just a two um, or f a set of four uh, AA batteries. So, and that gives you. Let me double check this here real quick. My multimeter. Um, that gives you about, let's see, I believe it's almost uh, four volts, if not five, because uh, they're in series. So, um, but anyway, so that's the battery pack. Basically, uh, um, this is your run of the mill four pack um, AA battery setup. So, uh, next we're going to go on to uh, the chip. Now, I use uh, Palalu chips. Uh, they're, they're cheap, they're small, uh, they're easy to program. Um, you can get them at palalu.com. I, I believe this was like 19 or 20 bucks. Uh, cheaper than, than the uh, Audrina boards. Um, and uh, I don't know about the functionality between the two of them. Which one's better? Obviously probably the, Dr the Adreno is probably better. I know with this board I can only control one servo at a time. So if I'm trying to move both of these at the same time uh, basically, I either have to program it so it goes moves one and then moves another, and it does it by milliseconds, which your eye doesn't pick up. So it'd be just a, a movement of going up gradually um, instead of you know both of them at the same time. So I don't know if the Adreno board does do uh, both multiple servos, but um, that's what this board does, just one at a time. So and as you can see, there's uh, there's six uh, six ports here. Uh, you can do either servos, you can do LEDs, you can do switches. Uh, inputs and uh, that's all done with programming which I'll, I'll be cover covering in a later video um, so and this runs off of a uh, five volt uh, five volts uh, it's got a mini USB connection um, to hook up to your computer so you can program the chip uh, once you get it all kind of figured out and set up um, and as I said this runs off five volts um, all the way up to 12 so and you can either power it from here or I believe you can power it from here as well um, and everything's listed on the back as far as what's what. So, um, as far as like the TX transmission, uh, RX, um, power, the, the battery here, you can see the battery. These lines are the battery here. And then um, ground, power, and your signal. So, um, so for the money, this is a pretty good chip. It works well. Um, i trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much about it. These will actually run LEDs as well. Um, and this board is resistored. So, um, for example, on, on my LED setup here, uh, if you notice, these are uh, resistored, as you can see right there. It's a five set right there of LEDs, and it's resistored. So if I were to actually run it on this board, I have to take the resistor out because it's already pre-resistored, uh, which is kind of cool, but um, considering I'd made these and uh, wasn't planning on actually doing any sort of... Uh, um, board configuration at the time, just getting it hooked up basically on a switch. Uh, they were resistored, so now if I run those 
on this board, um, I have to take the resistor out because uh, they, they're not as bright. Um, so, but anyways, that's just a basic rundown on on, um, on the electronics that I use for my my helmet. Um, won't really go too much into into how it's actually done. Uh, it's pretty s simplistic actually. It's just the the servo is mounted to the top hinge mounts, and uh, they push it up and down. So, um, it's really pretty easy. I'm actually working on a new set of hinges uh, or electronic hinges that are um, center mounted um, with uh, side mount hinges on the side. So, and as I get closer to that, I'll, I'll be showing you guys that as well. So, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Uh, leave them down in the comments down below down down here. Um, like if this is helped you out at all um, and obviously share and um, if you guys haven't subscribed feel free to do so um, thanks for watching guys and uh, do your thing